They say matters of the heart need to be dealt with seriously. And what happened in Gujarat during the Garba season is a stark reminder of life's unpredictability. Navratli celebrations on October 22nd, one day at different Garba events in Gujarat, turned fatal for some. As many as 10 people died of heart attacks while performing Garba on this one day. In 24 hours, ladies and gentlemen, 10 people dead because of heart attacks at various Garba events in the state. Little did these free spirits know that this would be their last dance. The night was young, but their hearts, hearts weren't. What's not very strange is that the casualties included teenagers as well. For example, take 17-year-old V. Shah. He was performing Garba during Navratri celebrations in Gujarat's Khera district. And then he suddenly complained of dizziness and became unresponsive. He was given first aid. He was rushed to the hospital, but all in vain. He was declared bought dead. The gravity of the situation can be assessed through the number of calls that have been made to the emergency number 108 in Gujarat. In the first six days of Navaratri, there were 500 calls made for heart-related issues. And there were some 600 calls citing breathlessness. Now, most of these calls were recorded between 6 p.m. and 2 a.m. at a time when Garba events usually take place. Now, these deaths have prompted both the government and event organizers to act. The state government has asked all government hospitals and community health centers near Garba venues to be on high alert. Garba organizers have also been instructed to create corridors for ambulances to enter the event swiftly in case of emergencies. The organizers too have taken steps to ensure the safety of participants by deploying doctors and ambulances at these venues. CPR training for staff, ample availability of water for participants have also been advised. But these deaths are really bringing several bigger issues to the fore. What is the link between Garba and heart issues? Well, there are several reasons why people get sudden heart attacks when engaging in physical activities like Garba. These include pre-existing illnesses and excessive intense physical activity, which most of us are not involved in these days. The second question that always gets asked is, is this the fallout of COVID? Now, research indicates that COVID can directly affect the heart, causing inflammation of the veins, blood vessels, and can damage the lining of these vessels as well. This inflammation, coupled with the body's immune response against the virus, can lead to heart complications. So what is it? Why have our hearts become weak? What is ailing young hearts? Putting these questions to my guest this evening, uh, someone who is widely regarded as India's best cardiologist, best heart doctor, uh, Dr. Naris Trehan, Chairman and MD of Medanta. Good evening and thank you very much for joining us. Can you wrap around your head, Dr. Trihan, around the fact that 10 people have lost their lives while playing Garba in Gujarat in one day because of heart attacks? First of all, thank you for inviting me to the show because this is a very serious issue that has confronted us progressively more and more in the recent years. The thing that one must understand about why do why does heart disease occur and why heart attacks occur, especially when there is a burst of intense activity, which you are not used to otherwise. So the, big, the biggest thing that we have in our research, in our fraternity, have found that genetics plays a huge role in development of heart disease. Now, that is an easy thing to handle because you, are, you know whether there is heart disease in your family. So like we say today, know your genes. If you have heart disease in the family and you have diabetes in the family, then the children have a very high chance of developing the same, even at a much earlier age than their parents did. So if you know that there is that history of background that you have, then you must, like we used to recommend, that by the age of 30, every individual should undergo a complete checkup to see and detect their risk factors. Now, as we have seen in the last few years, especially COVID has also brought it to, to the forefront, 
is the fact that even at a younger age, and I can tell you recently I operated or did a bypass surgery on a 19-year-old uh, boy. Very strong family history, very deranged lipids in his, in his blood. So if we can detect early enough that there are people who are at a higher risk, what we call today predictive medicine, that we can create an algorithm, or you can even say it is like your health Janam Patri, that we can actually map because genome mm. sequencing has become quite reasonably uh, uh, available at a cost of about 12, 15,000 rupees. And once in your lifetime, you need to get your gene mapping done along with your other risk factors and your habitus. So we, did, we say three things. One is your genome. The other is your phenome. Phenome is your lifestyle, your body structure, well, the way, what you eat, how you live. That along with your digital health. Digital health basically means that how much exercise are you doing? What is your physical activity that you're used to? And then we can prescribe very, uh, very with a great degree of accuracy that what should be your level of activity and what should be your diet, what should be, if anything, any medicines required to reverse the heart disease or control it from progressing. And equally, diabetes is the other big enemy because the coupling of ge genetic mm. factors along with diabetes, diabetes itself creates a very high risk factor. So I think people need to be made aware today okay. that heart disease is not a disease which rings a bell before coming. You may have silent heart disease and not, mm. you don't know about it, especially in diabetics, because diabetics don't get chest pain. So I think the warning that should go out to everybody okay. today is, one, know your hmm. body structure, your genes, your uh, biochemical structure, and then you can know where your future lies, how we progress, and what can you do to prevent these things from happening, because okay. they are preventable. The second thing is that you, okay. we, we are uh, recommending today that hmm. if you have heart disease or diabetes, diabetes in the family, then by the age of 25, your complete mapping should be done because that will tell us where are, do you stand on the spectrum of developing these diseases in the future. So I think though that's one part of it. The other part of it is when you indulge in intense activity and, you know, celebrations, uh, rock concerts, all these things like involve a lot of intense activity for a prolonged period of time. And if you are not used to it, and if you do have some underlying mm -hmm. disorder, then it could it, it could lend you into, land you into trouble and cause that tragedy. So that's basically the background in which All right. uh, COVID, let me just finish the COVID part, which you asked. COVID itself okay. mm -hmm. did create mm -hmm. a lot of inflammation in people's heart muscles. And if they had in the arteries also, and if they did not have heart disease, they may have premature heart disease now because they suffered the inflammation during COVID. So all these factors have accumulated in today's situation where we are seeing again and again people uh, suffering fatal heart attacks in that intense activity. Okay. Dr. Trahan, then can I very quickly ask you, I don't have too much time on the show, but if you could answer this in 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, in this case as well, we've seen a 17-year-old lose his life, a young boy, 17 years old. Uh, increasingly, and I've spoken to you on many occasions, you tell me that uh, uh, the number of people with heart ailments who come to you increasingly are getting younger and younger. What explains that? What explains the death of a 17-year-old because of a heart attack playing the garba? As I told you, the combination of India is the capital of heart disease anyway. Second, when you, when you pass it on to your successive generations, it can attack you at a much younger age. The next thing is that our lifestyles have become totally warped because of the fact that we do not indulge in physical activity like we used to. The diet is getting richer and richer. Smoking in the younger generation, uh, in the younger group, age group, is, is rampant. Also along with that, there is also substance abuse and more importantly, uh, pollution today has added to the environmental hazard. The, in, in addition, today, stress okay. is, on, is prevalent for, for everybody. There's nobody who says, 
or can can claim that they have no stress. Mm. Just existence is a stress today. You get out to the street and you know how much uh, mm. what's going on, crowded streets, traffic jams, uh, aggressive behavior. So all these things are adding up to the same thing that our health is suffering and heart happens to be a major target mm. for unhealthy being. Okay. Uh, Dr. Triyan, thank you very much. I think the one figure that all of us need to look at is on our screens right now. In 2019, 15% of all deaths in India were because of a heart attack. Now that figure in 2016 was 28%. We are in 2023. The number certainly has gone up. Uh, that's a figure we need to, uh, need to keep in mind. And probably it's a figure that should scare us enough to go in for a gene mapping, if nothing else. Dr. Dr. Triyan, thank you very much for your time uh, here on Mirror Now. It's good to speak to you. Thank you very much.